23, find the duration is hours and minutes. So we've got something like this. I'm gonna show you a calculator that you usually, this is your normal Casio calculator. When we calculate durations between two specific times, guys, say from, I don't know, 2.15 a.m. to 3.15 a.m., or let me say 3.46 a.m., we wanna calculate the time difference. Then we can just easily find the answer by using your, answer, your, your button, this button on your calculator. You may you know how to do it on a piece of paper without the calculator, but now guys, I want you to get, the, get used to using the calculator to answer these kind of questions, okay? Because it takes so less time. You can save a lot of time in your exam when you get a question like this, if you have a calculator. So watch very carefully. That button. That button is the button we use for degrees, isn't it? Degrees, minutes, and seconds. So this is degrees, this is minutes, so it's like a, like a little apostrophe. And then double apostrophe is seconds, okay? So degrees, minutes, and seconds. But in time, we don't really say degree, we say hours, don't we? So you can call this hours, basically. Ah, oh, can't spell. Okay, so treat this button as hours, minutes, and seconds button, okay, in when we're calculating differences between times. So, I'll show you when we get to the questions, starting from um, 23A, 7 a.m. to 9.20 a.m. Okay, what we do is we use our calculator, we press 9, press that button, 20, press that button again. I know it says degree, but if you press it again, it simply means minutes. So although you get that button, it means nine hours, 20 minutes, okay? So 920 minus seven a.m., we just say seven degrees. And then that's the answer. Put it in your calculator, you should get something like this. So it's the difference between these two times is two hours and 20 minutes and zero seconds. So the answer is you can just write it as two hours, 20 minutes. Get the idea, guys? It's always, so how easy was that? It should have only taken like a few seconds, wasn't it? So that's the answer. So that's how you usually um, utilize that button in your calculator. So let's try this one. 8, 10 to 10, 20. So we say 10, press the button. 20, press the button again. Minus 8, button, 10, button again. So that's in what we put in the calculator. And then press enter. You should have 2 degrees 10 minutes, which means it's 2 hours and 10 minutes duration. That's it. See? Okay, 6.45 a.m. to 4.10 p.m. Now guys, I haven't actually said this earlier, but when you have p.m., when you have a.m., you can leave it as it is, but when you have p.m., you must convert it to 24 hour time. So you can see that four, four o'clock, is 16, 16. So 16.10 is what you should be putting, like this. So 16 degrees, 10 minutes. And then minus that, you can just put, as, put it in as it is. So six degrees, 45 minutes. Okay, so make sure when you have it, whenever you see the afternoon time, PM, you always convert it to 24 hour time. So that should be that. So nine hours and 25 minutes is the time duration. Okay, this time we've got some seconds involved, but do the exact same thing. But we, there's no PM, so you don't have to worry about converting anything to 24 hour time. So, 9 button, 15 button, 5 button, minus 4 button, 5 button, 25 button, as easy as that. And just calculate it, press enter, that's what you should have. So I've got 5 hours, 9 minutes and 40 seconds, so that's the answer. 5 hours, 9 minutes and 40 seconds time duration.